Hey guys, I have one more tip. So, because of the toxins that plastic wear gives off, I'm starting to use more glass in my home. Um, glass, paper, things that don't have uh, the toxins that the plastic has. Um, I also post some information regarding the things that plastic give off. Like plastic bottles of water have a ton of toxins in them from the plastic. That's why they have an expiration date because it's not the water that expires. It's the plastic bottle. From temperature to temperature, it releases toxins into the water. So, same thing for these plastic bags. So, I bought these paper bags. And they come with these cute little stickers. And you can close the bag with the stickers. So what I did was I made bacon for the week because I'm meal prepping for my kiddo's lunch um, or for her breakfast as well for the week. So I, after I take the bacon out and I make sure that I get all of the excess grease off of the bacon. And so I throw it into the bag and then I close it. Now, if I want an extra layer of protection, I will put the paper bag inside of a plastic bag, but the plastic toxins aren't getting on the bacon because it's protected by the paper bags. And so I got this bag of paper bags. It has 50 in it. They're recyclable bags. Um, well, the paper is recyclable or whatever. They're made from recycled paper, should I say. Um, this box was like $5.99. So depending on where you get it, it should range anywhere from $5 to $7 for 50 bags. And that's great. You can put your kiddo's sandwich in it. I'm still working on finding a solution for wet things like fruit and things that would tear this paper bag up. So stay tuned. I hope I have some of that news for you soon. Talk to you guys later.